Once upon a time in the little shire of Quinell, a girl arrived with a special gift. A gift that lets her dream like a child. It's a gift that lets her put those feelings and visions just as they were onto a canvas. Unrestricted, different, and a little whimsical, the gift has always let her life be a reflection of who she is inside out. Actually, when I was in kindergarten, this is a silly story, but I had two of my paintings put in the Victoria Art Museum. They were picked because I had a snowman and my, I broke my person up. It wasn't a stick person and he had his leg behind the snowman and in front of the snowman. So they thought that was special. And then I did a clothes line with clothes blowing in the wind instead of just things hanging on it. So that's why they ended up in the art museum because they were doing a special school thing. It would be another 50 years before Cheryl decided to make art the focal point of her life again. Starting out with Pinterest-inspired upcycle garden art, Cheryl since moved her brush and ideas onto canvases. Nowadays, these canvases are made to order whimsical pictures of people's homes and their stories. I started out putting the paintings there thinking, well, maybe I'll sell one or two, but this summer I've sold 20 paintings. It is very whimsical. Sometimes it looks like Mad Hatter stuff, that kind of thing, and uh, it can be used inside of the house or outside of the house. And that's kind of where I was at when I was starting the business. I was kind of inside out. It was her husband's retirement, health, and other personal issues that got Cheryl back into art. In February, she challenged herself to do one piece a day and hasn't stopped since. <laughs> like my husband tells his friends, she sits down, she makes a dot, and it all goes from there. It just happens, I, you know. I, right now I'm actually trying something different. I'm offering people like pictures, whimsical pictures of their homes. So what I do is get pictures of their homes and then I just change it into a whimsical painting. While most of Cheryl's garden and yard art is sold and done for the season, she's now got a garage full of glass, china and other ornaments to start prepping for the Christmas season. I love beautiful things and glass is a beautiful thing and our families have been collecting glass for years and years and years I mean China beautiful beautiful China and nobody ever really uses it anymore I don't know what it is that inspires me I just seem to see something and and know that I have to have that and with the art I just with the painting I don't know I think it's just where my spirit is at this time of my life when she goes out and displays her work, she always takes samples of her side projects that she's working on to see how people respond to them. So far, everything she's done with regards to her art has only garnered a positive response from the community. I have had people, I, I had one particular man who stopped and he was looking at my paintings and looking at my paintings and finally I went over and I said, hello, and he said, you are a very happy person. These paintings, are beautiful and bright and you know just joyful and I think that was the nicest thing that anybody has said about the paintings. The girl who came from the island to share her precious gift with our little part of the world now spends all of her time dreaming the days away. She lets anyone who wants one take those whimsical happy reflections of her heart home to share with their families. I made a conscious decision at this point in my life not to work, but this gives me more than any job could give me. And I think anybody can do what their heart's desire is. They may not be able to do it now, but maybe some point in life it's going to be there for you. You just have to sort of listen and run with it. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Anand Shandy.